Let's go, everybody. My name's Chris, and welcome back to. Oh, it's a cute girl. Shh, shh, shh. Take off. Go away. Hello. Um. Okay. Bye bye. In the last episode, we were exploring Windfall Island, doing some side quests. Oh, doing some side quests, helping some unrequited lava. She runs weird. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And now, apparently, we're following this girl. Who's that? I'm a diddy tat. <laughs> so, one thing I actually did not know about the side quest is I thought you always had to stay well, very close behind her. And if you are too close, well, not really too close, but if you're not hiding, she'll, she'll say, Who's that? And Link will make the cat calling noise, but he'll do that every single time if you're too close. But you don't actually have to do that. If you're far enough away, it won't make that happen. It might be too close. Oh, no, I'm not. Huh. Don't hear that, do you? Oh. If you're not running, she might be suspicious. Oh, no, she doesn't. So, yeah, I guess that's the quickest. Like, like, I was always wondering why the side quest would take so long for me to do as a kid, and that's freaking why. Because I'd always be too close, and she would always be like, Who is that? Ooh, hold on. This spot right here might be a little bit more tricky dicky. Oh, there she is. Gotta stay a little close to her. Oh, this time she might be like, Who's that? Because <laughs> she hit me for this. Who's that making noise? <laughs> and if you do get caught by her, she like she gets scared and she just runs off and you can't follow her, and she disappears for all eternity. I almost wonder if I should purposely do that. I'm not going to, but can't hear this. Where's she going? This is actually one of my favorite side quests, so I really like it. Sold snake style. All right, you want to make sure you let her get to the safe before you come up to her. And purposely get caught. You, you startled me. What do you want? My heart is racing. You scared me. Wait, wait are you the kind of creep who goes around at night scaring people? It's just plain mean. So who do you think you are anyway? A night creeping rascal. Or an ally of justice. Now, if you answer these wrong, she will get scared and she'll just run away. A, a what? An... An ally of justice? I, I'm not a thief, I swear. I haven't stolen anything yet. Well, yet. Please, just let me go. It was an impulse. That's all. Just a bad idea. Why won't you say anything? Because <laughs> I'm a silent protagonist. Duh! Does this mean you're mad at me? Could you at least listen to the circumstances of my life that led up to this moment? Please, you owe me at least that. What do you mean? Quiet, you! No kidding. <laughs> She's stealing. I was once the richest little Dubante in this town. Did you know that? But one day a monstrous bird came and took me away to a terrible place called the Forsaken Fortress uh, where I was locked up and held captive. Oh, it was awful. My father spent every last rupee in his coffers to an attempt to get me rescued. Coifers? I think it was actually Coifers. I think that's how it's pronounced. That's right. Every last bit of our family fortune. Gone. That was when my life of poverty, be poverty began. Now, every day from morning until night, I'm busy working for the open air shop. So, as you can see, at least I'm trying to settle into my poor lifestyle. Doesn't that just tug at your heartstrings? What do you say about the tragic events in my pitiful life? Pitiable life? That's terrible. That's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, as badly as I want to say that, just to be a dick, I'm going to say that's terrible. And make matters worse, for some reason I still can't figure out yet, that slob, Maggie, who's the poorest girl in town, suddenly got filthy rich. Maggie, of all people. Makes me so mad that I just want to do something terrible. Ugh. Do you understand my plight? Not at all. Very well. Then you let me go? Virtually no. Yeah, if you say I'll let you go, she runs off, so don't say that. But why not? Because I like you? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I'm really curious, but I'm going to say it. Ha, you awful boy. I was honest with you too, and now I'm just angry. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, see you guys in a second. Uh, actually, maybe. Maybe I could reset it by going inside a building and going back. Ah, uh, well, actually, I probably shouldn't have gone in here. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter. This is where the auction will take place, but we're not going to be doing that yet. I do want to do that this episode. Is she just going to be back outside? Oh, she is. Okay, good. Um, I was just, I was going to show what happens when you do get caught. Actually, I'm going to show that. I was just going to cut, but I'm just going to show what happens when you get caught, first of all. Hello. <laughs> yeah, if you get too close. Who's there? 
Yeah, she just runs off. No big deal. Okay, I'll meet you guys back in the conversation. All right, I'm back. Guess I'll start talking here. Uh, do you understand my plate? Very well. Then you'll let me know. Unfortunately, no. Oh, but why not? Because I like you. <laughs> That's what I messed up. It's true. I know I'm quibbing over nothing, but being so poor weakens a person's very soul. But it's time I quit making silly excuses for myself. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, I don't have to sink down to the level of a common thief. Well, you kind of just did, actually, but... I'll never do anything like that again. Ah, what an amazing feeling. I've let go of all my worries from my heart. Wow, I actually feel refreshed. Well, I at least thank you. Please, please take this. She lifts up her skirt. Well, it's great for carrying water and holding things. You don't say. Don't look at me like that. I didn't steal it and wash up on the shore, so I picked it up. Don't tease me like that. It's a tiny bottle made of a crystal clear glass. It's so beautiful. I wish my soul could be that beautiful. Oh, what am I saying? When you live in poverty, you could say the cheesiest things without blinking an eye. <laughs> so, um, I guess I should go soon. My father will start worrying. Goodbye, little ally of justice. And good luck to you. Bye, thanks for tonight. Yay, another side quest complete. It's kind of sad I'm doing all these side quests because, I mean, it is one of my favorite parts of this game. Like, look how many side quests are like just available for you to just do at Windfall Island. That's why I love this game so much. Windfall Island just feels so alive. Alright, let's head to the cafe here. <clears throat> See what's going on. Sensual discussion. It's like the bar. Hey, it's her dad. I didn't know he was here. My daughter and I have managed. What? What? Why that? Huh? I, I didn't press anything. Okay, that was weird, but all right. Wait, does that wait? Does that mean my battery's almost dead or something? No, I still have half battery. My daughter and I have managed to eke out a decent life in the process. I've realized a great truth: there's something more important than money in this world. I think at long last I finally come to understand just what true happiness really is, and I'm thankful for it. Aw, that's so sweet. I mean, this is the same guy, the same mustache nose guy <laughs> that made me. That made me pay a bunch of money, but still. Just a second there, kid. If there's any time for a kid to be coming here, just trust me, okay? Go on now, go home. Screw you, lady. I've seen enough shit. <laughs> hey, have you ever seen one, what I call the frightening fishman? Check this out. The other day I was out in the sea on a cruise, and without uh, thinking much about it, I tossed some leftover bait on the waves. You will never guess what happened. Oh, I have an idea. This fishy looking thing popped up on the surface, but it was no ordinary fish. It had some weird human looking smile on his face and it just gobbled up the bait. The ocean's so very vast, many mysterious things that we've yet to even dream of lie sleeping beneath the waves. So I was wondering where this guy is during the day, and he's actually not even on this island during the day. He is on another island that's very far from here, and we will be meeting him there eventually. Not for a little while yet, though. Squid. You ever been ate up by one of them squid out in the sea? Uh, no. This one time a ship got caught in this giant whirlpool, you get me? And what's there waiting for us in the middle of it? The giant squid, the giantest squid you've ever seen! And all of its butter had these beady, gnarly, glowing eyes, and I don't even know what was going on with its tentacles. Now, I, now that I'm thinking of it, those were the squirrely, squirreliest eyes I've ever seen. Interesting description. <laughs> if I've ever come across that beast again, I'll whale him in the eyes. That's what I'd do. Okay. Uh, I just want to say yes to you. Squid. <laughs> I love how he just says squid. Don't you go lie now. Why stick any other sailor out there in my position? He'd be belly up. He'd, he'd have been finished. Finished, I'm telling you. It's a darn good thing I'm as rough and tumble as a sailor as you'll ever meet. Oh, you better believe it. Yeah, I'm sure you are. I thought these guys were having an arm wrestling contest at first. I was going to say, that's awesome. Ah, nothing better than a cup of refreshment at your local cafe after a long day's work. Nothing. Heh <laughs> what are you doing in a place like this at such a late hour? Isn't it bedtime for you, little brats? Wow, what a dick. Wow. So there's just this lady with all these manly men among her. <laughs> that's why she wants me to leave. I, don't, I know what happens, lady, after I leave this place. And that's not pretty. Gross. <laughs> so yeah, it's like the meeting spot during the night time for a lot of people in town. I th think that's really cool. It is kind of silly that during the um, night, a lot of the people in town just kind of disappear. And they're nowhere to be found in the game. And it's weird. I don't understand. Unless the kid's actually in here now. Maybe they just went on here the day it was storming. I'm pretty sure I've seen the... No, they're really not. 
I thought I saw the kids in here occasionally, though, but I don't know when they would be in here. That's really weird, but okay, whatever. Uh, right. One last thing I want to do. Let's go to the auction house over here. Ow! Or the spot where auctions take place. Do -do -do -do. Here we go. Well now, good evening. Yes, yes, I rent out the first floor of this uh, mansion or to run a nightly auction. And actually, tonight's auction is about to begin. Oh dear me, is it ever? It is indeed an auction, but I like to describe it in more simple terms. It's a competition of the highest order. Oh yes, it's a little competition to see who can get the item that's being auctioned. Can you outbid everyone else? Do you have the courage and the fun? Did you? Oh, the drama. Ah, but what's this? Well, Jeremy, do I de detect a hint of curiosity? I believe I do. Fortunately, we welcome b bidders of all age, both kids and adults. Yes, yeah, so tell me, would you like to participate in the auction? Absolutely. Really? Oh, dear me. Um, now you're completely fine with me not explaining the auction to you? Am I correct on assuming this? Wait, I... Yeah, I'm fine with you not explaining it. Yes, good. That speeds things up. Thank you, Nintendo, for putting that option. Very well. Let us begin immediately. It's no time to dwindle. The auction is afoot. On your toes. On your toes. Okay. So. Uh, Bucktooth guy. So I think the people that are in the auction are always the same every night. Yes, yes, yes. First, let me thank you. Uh, thank all of you bargain-loving people for joining us this evening. Dear me, what a turnout. This auction is about to begin. Yes. What do you suppose will pop up on our item other than the evening? Oh, dear me, it's so exciting. I can't stop sniffling. The calm before the auction storm always makes my nose run. <laughs> Let's get to it. The, uh, this evening, our glorious auction item is this. Ah, oh, fabulous joy pendant. Oh, dear me, what a prize. At last, the suspense is over. Ball drama aside, you should know it is extremely rare to get a chance to own a fabulous item like this. It is precious, quite dear, very valuable. Yes, yes, listen well, for I do not lie. Let the auction begin. Opening event of 40 rupees. And... Begin! Do you wish to quit? Yeah, so... Yes, 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 Link. Fine. Time to run. Time to go. Run along now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, that is not the item we want at all from here. And there's actually quite a few items we get from here. I believe there's two treasure charts, a heart piece, and a brand new item. Ooh, actually... Yeah. Hey, hey, now, here again? Yeah, so tell me, would you like to participate in the option? Auction? Okay, yeah, so let's try something else here and hopefully it won't be a Joy Pendant. Joy Pendant really is like the troll item of this game. It's silly. Oh, maybe it's not the same people. To be fair, I thought it was the same people. They just um, mixed them up a little more, but apparently not. All right, and it just has the same thing, so we'll skip it all. I don't even think we're going to be able to get everything. Here we go, a chart. Uh huh. Same thing as you said before. Five Roop, really? Dang. Okay. So, auctions begin. See the A button down there? You have a little A meter. Eight Roopies! Gummy. <laughs> His name's Gummy. Why do they give him little name bubbles there? Look at this. My, mine Con. Mine Con. <laughs> Mininco? Mininco? Mm, that sounds wrong. So, yeah, you'll get this all the way up. 15 rupees! Go sack? That sounds like he's rushing or something. And yeah, when you get all the way up, you make a bid. And you could, like, bump it up a little bit. Or you could go crazy and bump it up a crap ton. For, like, 47. 47 rupees! What did he say? Oh, is that not enough? And you start cheering when you're winning. Yes, yes, our current top bidder is none other than the esteemed Link. The bid is at 47 rupees. But come on now, friends. I hope you won't stop it there. 50 rupees! <laughs> Holy crap, I was been now. 54 rupees. Garrickson. Even in the bargain. 61 rupees. Why do you guys want your special like Linda? Seriously? Yes, yes, yes. Our current top bidder is none other than the Steam Linda. If it is 61 rupees, but come now, friends. Hope you won't let it stop there. 65 rupees. Vera. That's a cool name. Uh how much will you bid? Okay, let's let's Make it a nice even 130. Let's see if this knocks everyone out of the park. Because if you do high enough. Incredible! Such passion! Passion! <laughs> such bidding! Wow. Much passion! Such bidding! <laughs> Doge. Link steps up to the tremendous bid. He's frozen everyone! Now I've seen such power display of bidding power. 
What's with this kid? And just how much of an allowance does he get, I wonder? So yeah, it makes everyone go crazy. Um, the best technique, actually, to winning this, though, is, well, getting it right to the top. What? Does it naturally go up? Time is running out, dear friends. What? Oh, I thought it was me again. I was like, I'm not even nowhere near up. So, yeah, the best technique is actually get it close. 139 rupees. It is naturally going up, isn't it? Oh, I wonder if they fixed that so you just can't, like, wait. See, I didn't know this. 149 rupees. 155 rupees! Hmm. 163 rupees! Okay, well, that kind of throws a wrench to my plans a little bit here. 169 rupees! Oh, no, it's going to make me... There's much time left, good people. Are you done bidding? So I think it's about to make me vote. Oh, yeah. Oh, never. Oh, I keep thinking that's me. The camera's at such a weird angle. Yeah, there we go. Let's just go up by one. Because no matter how high the rupees are, crap, still get for this. Unless it's like 999. If you do 999, you automatically win, which I'm not going to do because I need the money. Only five seconds remain. Am I done? Is this the end? <sighs> 196 rupees. Yeah! Okay. Oh, one second left. All right. Best way to win this is when there's only five seconds left. Take it for the win and then knock everybody out. Do a crazy thing. Oh, oh, dearest me. Incredible. The drama. Everyone's struck by Ling's bid. What? I used to be called Miss Auction. I can't lose now. Oh, yeah. Sure. You used to be Miss Beautiful. And sold. Here ends the auction. Tonight's fabulous treasure chart goes to Link for the price of 240 rupees. Dear me. Let me just say congratulations. <laughs> Look at his little bow ties in his hair. You got a treasure chart. Oh, the chart on the map screen. And it'll be lit up and stuff. There you are, yeah. Oh dear, how incredible. Such a youngster walked away with the prize. I'll never seen such a fat wall. This kid was a bidding machine right until the end. No kidding. But now then, on to business. For you lucky ones out there, yeah, and yes, yes. Also for you not so lucky ones, let me say that thank you for your participation. Let's bring tonight's auction to an end. Dear me, such excitement. Dear people, thank you very much. Wow, this this is like freaking auction, like that, or storage wars, or whatever that show is. Well, honestly, where on that tiny body could be hiding all that cash? Oh, wouldn't you like to know, lady? Uh, I could show you. <laughs> you did it. Nice work. Perhaps next time you could take me out for the cafe for the drink after. Wow, what a gold digging butt. <laughs> wow, I'm impressed. It looks like this the old gal didn't win this time. Kid, well done, I guess. Well done, I guess. <laughs> the key to winning the auction is to be right in the thick of all the bidding. Be aggressive, it's the only way. Nah. For example, try upping the bid by more than just a few rupees and leave pretty deep pockets, of course, but play it right. Your move just might be such a mental shock to the other bidders that they don't know what to do. Yeah, no kidding. It's almost like that ha just happened to you. Imagine you shock them. They won't be able to bid until they snap out of it. And they get things for cheaper than they, normally, than they would normally go. Neat trick, huh? What? You knew all that? Well, I guess I underestimated you. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're a little bit too close for comfort here. <laughs> look at that chest in her face. Uh, freaking gummy. Just look at this. Look how young this kid is. The way he handles his money is so reckless. Young sir, you're my hero tonight. Oh, that's not the direction I thought that conversation was going. Okay, so there's actually three more items we get here. At least. There might be actually four. I, I know three for sure. Um, one being a heart piece, one being another treasure chart. But it's interesting how that first treasure chart started at five rupees. Do we do another bid, or do we have to change it back to day and night? Oh, now here again? Yes, tell me, would you like to Oh, cool. Hmm, judging my now here again thing almost makes you think that, um, in the original game, you could only do one auction a night. But I could be wrong about that. Hey, look, there's a new, oh, there's two new people here. All right, what do you got for us? Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, what is it? Oh, this a fabulous swift sale. I almost wonder if, I almost think it's gonna like start at like 200 rupees, I'm crazy. The auction begin, 100 rupees. Okay, that's not bad. And begin. All right, so let's just bring it down to like there. 100 rupees. And what I'm gonna do is just wait and let it naturally go up. 
and hope that no one does something stupid and like boosts it by a crap ton. That'd be actually pretty cool though if they could also. Top bitter is really Missy. Her name's Missy, really. Uh huh. So yeah, we're just gonna wait till the very end. So he says only five seconds left to make a big bid and knock everyone out. Cause there's seriously no point. And in... did you see the face Link just made? <laughs> he made a pissed off face. Like don't run it any harder. What do you guys even have use of a freaking sale? Well, I'll probably just sell it back to people and make even more Malaz Sam. Such a that's such a like universal name. And also, Lenny, my girlfriend, if you didn't know. Haha! <laughs> Alright, so, I guess, I mean, there's no point in showing this entire thing. Especially because we're getting up there in time. Um. So, yeah. Just gotta wait. Do do! So, I guess I'll talk to you guys in a bit here. And Link actually just made, he made a okay face there. It's weird. He made an angry face before. <laughs> cool watching this naturally go up as well. Time is running out to your friends. So, ooh, 144. I don't see it seems to boost it up by like, oh, 10 rupees. Damn, I was gonna say three or four rupees. Holy crap, that is jumping all of a sudden. Jeez. Oh, six, wow, everyone's just bidding high all of a sudden. Dang, maybe I should bring this a little farther up. Just in case, 172 rupees. I don't know why, he's Mario, that's not his voice. <laughs> A little closer. I'm just waiting for him to say five seconds to remain. Okay, it's this is an awkward silence. That'd be cool, if, like noises coming from him as this auction was going on. Cause everyone just kind of silence. <laughs> That's not how auctions go. Auctions are supposed to be loud, man. Is there much time left, good people? Are you done bidding? Just about. Every time someone beside me bids, I keep thinking it's glitching out. It's actually me that's bidding. Hmm, 210. Jeez, 12 rupees. A 12 hoopy bid. Only five seconds remain. Alright, here we go, you guys. Alright. Let's go... Swift sale. Let's go... Let's go 52 rupees. Oh, wait. That was only 40. Uh oh Okay, good. Huh. I don't know how high of a bid you have to make. Give me a break already, kid! And just in case, people snap out of it. Because that can happen sometimes. Um, yeah, I started bringing up to you. It's fabulous, Swift Tail goes a lick. Yay, dear me. Let me just say congratulations. You got the Swift Sail. Thanks to the expert sail making craftsmanship, your ship can now sail even faster than ever. And what's even better, whenever you use it, is a favorable wind will always bear at your back. No need to manually change the wind direction. Voyaging has never been more efficient. Cool. Oh, well, I don't have much money left. Um, okay. So, I'm going to actually call it quits there. In the next episode, we will try to push forward the plot a little bit. Kid, well done, I guess. Well done, I guess. You did, you did a nice work. Perhaps next time we came out of cafe. Yeah, you already said that for a drink afterwards. She said it differently, but she still said it. Key to winning the auction is... Oh, yeah. You did say that. Yeah. Maybe that... Do that always just say this? What if I talk to him again? I'm always interested in what NPCs say and stuff like this. That's cool. It's a unique. It's like unique situations. Young man, you shouldn't always be so loose with your wallet. I mean, you must have gone through a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to get rid of a lot of cash. No, I sell hard drugs. No, why? How? It's not fair. <laughs> what a kid like that gets so much money? That's crazy. I can't even match my funds with a child. Talk about humiliating. No kidding. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode. We depart onwards to the Great Sea. See you guys later. Bye-bye.